arriving at the busiest Japanese car show at Silverstone. It's going to be amazing. Let's see what we can see rolling into the show. Oh. Try a little slide at the MX-5. There's green on that one. Solero orange or yellow S15. A gorgeous colour. And the turbocharged MX-5 who made a flutter. the most heroic entrance a 350z with a working and a fixed prop shot careful careful slow <laughs> we've got another fd rx7 turning up and for some reason a polo maybe the public cars are starting to arrive i reckon i mean we've been here for an hour and a half now oh is that for me yeah. Thank you very much. I need that. <laughs> Thank you. They've come all the way from Belgium just to give me some iced tea. It's very kind. You've got the Vale Side 370Z. Quite rare to see on a 370. Oh, is that for me? I need that, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. They've come all the way from the Netherlands to give me a monster. <laughs> oh, oh, an RX-8 has made it here from the Netherlands. So has the Lexus. Oh, there's a spoil. Oh, I'm, oh, you can just see the... <laughs> <laughs> The MX-5's tyre is not inflated as much as it once was, and everyone's telling him. Just get an extra low close-up of the flat tyre, there we go. Oh look, Tesla wheels. A platinum S14. Things have definitely calmed down somewhat, although it's still got a lot of decent cars rolling in. Oh, oh, someone's, <laughs> someone's triggered them! I'll say how quiet and calm you got. And when you buy them, it's important to do a check before you buy. And that's why Car Vertical have sponsored this video with an example from this Subaru. This is a bad report. This specifically is a Subaru XV. So imagine you're just buying your standard family Japanese car. You scroll down your Car Vertical reports and find it's been damaged. This one's been damaged twice. You've even got photos as proof of the damage. Look, reasonable car from the front. Look at the back. That is a damaged car, and this is why it's so essential, whether it be damage, theft, or mileage rollbacks as well. So that's just an example of why it's so important to check before you buy. Use my discount code of ADAMC to get 20% off your car vertical report. This link's down below. Uh, let's see what else we can find rolling in. You've got the Violet Mark V Supra, Evo 10 as well, and this R33 um is quite different to the rest and he's not quite as unmarked as he should be oh no look what's going on he's towing oh he's, he's being towed because that's not embarrassing at all why don't you start it and drive in i uh, didn't want to save the petrol no <laughs> hello there, hello there. Hello there. <laughs> oh, look, the police has towed him to this part of the traffic and now the queue is having to go around them the police aren't pulling him all the way into the show, understandably. They've got better things to do, but they've got him off the main road so that he can recover himself. Oh, wow, look at the eclipse! Fast and Furious Eclipse. That's one of my favorites of the day. Also, PS13, multiple shades of other colors and a bit of dirt. Could have cleaned it. It's a PS front end, but it's actually an S13, a Yard PS on the rear. <laughs> I've just noticed the Accord that was towed is probably, I think he had started it. It's, it's not there anymore. Unless the police are still 
towing him, he's gone. Also, as a little bit of a bonus for people watching this video, applications for the Adam Seafest Top 25 are now open. So if you want to get your car on the main grid at my show this year, 27th of May, just send a picture of your car to one of my social channels and I will see what I can select for the Top 25 grid. You'll need your ticket, the show car tickets are down in the video description. 27th of May, back holiday Monday, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Sounding Subarus of the day. That's got nitrous, it? has got nitrous. Well, <laughs> and an R34 behind this one in cherry red with a bit of a livery and a Sheila on the door. I wonder what her name is. Brenda. You got the Racy Civic with an RX8 behind. Saw this last year. A lot of artwork around the RX8. I think some of it's come off since last year. And now take a look at the kit on the RX-7. He's got the wrong engine. That's a JZ, I'm pretty sure, in the RX-7. There's also a purple GT86. joining in. And here another one of my favourites got the Nissan Premier in the touring car livery. Is it bad that I've already forgotten how many chases there were? Was were we on 12? Look how wide the front the, the track is just the widest I've ever seen on a chase. I think that's 13. That is 13. There's people shouting. Another V8 Lexus IS. Subaru just overheard these chaps say so you've got a long way to go because the traffic is going to take probably 45 50 minutes to get in. I need the Subaru to encourage the R32 to rev, but not going to happen. Oh, I like the smooth front end on the S2000, very clean. Got another RX7 behind this. Whoa, there's an R33 revving in the background. I need to go back over to my cones. Pistachio R33 and the GCR. There's a Bayside Blue R34. Oh, I don't know if anything's in top of R35 with a flame kit. And here we have an R34 GTT with Brian's livery. I believe I signed the spoiler of this. Oh, he's wiped it off. We've got a crowd favourite and probably the UK's best NSX. This is definitely the best looking car of the show, or at least one of them. It'd be difficult to beat this car at a show. This is always a crowd favourite. It's noisy too. Flames. You can do it again. 
There you go. Oh, I hope he has a red. He's got the red door. It's the in-betweeners car. And that's the Lexus game. Yeah, sorry, that, that's, that's more exciting. Oh, no, they've got the faces. Oh. That's also more exciting. Flame. The police are towing another car. They're towing it at Master Arrow. Seven, which is understandable and unfortunately is one of my favorite cars this Mazda RX-7 is another towed participant in fact the police officer is steering it himself I think it suits him that's really nice look at the love heart exhausts nice RX-7 coming up Hello. Hello. unmarked police Volvo there not towing a car this time no no he is towing a car the third one of the day to be towed in. Maybe these are overheating, maybe, in the traffic. If his window is down, I would tell him, you're not the only one. Oh, check out the S15. Oh, yes. That was an M3 revving in the distance. Oh, 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 oh flames, flames, do it again. One more piece, the stinger going away. We got stung by it. The police is towing the RX-7 into the field now. He is safely off the road. We've got a bit of a livery on the R33 with yellow tyre writing this time. Toyo tyres. And the R32 as well. And the four-door R34. So you've got R34, R32, R33 was ahead. Quite the combo. And a focus CST. Uh, I reckon public cars are rolling in for sure. The wide body MX5 arrives. We've got another JZX100 Toyota Mark II. This one on the floor with a camera. That's the Leica race car revving for the people. There is the stanced Mark II. And here is a great sounding R33. I'm guessing even. Oh, yes. Sounds amazing. There's a Civic. His favorite cereal is Bran Flakes. Oh, revolutions. From the Prelude. Hey, look at the wing on the back of the GT86. Surely that won't pass an MOT. It's too sharp. Slice your armpit open if you walk into that. How's this for a combo? You've got the Zenki S14, you've got the black DC5, rare colour for one of those, and the JZX90 Toyota Mark II. Subaru with another massive spoiler. In fact, he's got two spots. He's got a little boot lip and then the uh, the bumper mounted one as well. The revolutions are kind of, well, I was going to say they've calmed down with the revolutions, but he didn't. That's the reason. Ah, okay. oh, the Micra, it's a Mitsuoka Micra. So it looks like a Mark II, well, it doesn't look like a Mark II Jag, but it's inspired by a Mark II Jag. You got the yellow Subaru with the polar bear out the rear window. Hello. Oh, look, the public cars are turning up. Hello. I don't know what he said, but I'm sure it was hilarious. Hello! Hello. Oh, we got the Daihatsu Copen with aero discs on the front. And an exhaust! That was his exhaust! I was wondering where the sound was coming from. He's now got to have to blank where the exhaust would have been. When did that massive crowd get there? I'm sure they weren't there just now. Hello, Mr. Person in the Duke. Super yeah, the camera as well. Oh, a little cheeky flames from that. Thank you, Miss Word. And we have Chaser number 14. This one's blue with a shotgun exhaust on its rear. Best color, he knows. Three spokes as well, like a Dodge Viper. Got the Motorsports livery on the Datsun. Huge spoiler on the S14 turning up. Again, jagged end plates there. We saw this Toyo Supra Mark V about an hour ago and he went the wrong way. He's only just made it back due to the traffic and there's something scraping. Something's fallen off your 200 SX. Manifold noises. Got the Kuki S14. Got the R33 Ford Or color flip as well. R34 in the best color. Oh, good. <laughs> told the Civic who <laughs> that was quite a response wasn't it oh there's a propeller hat yes he knows we have Toyota Chaser number 15 of the day oh 
it seems the police car is required again to tow another car. The MR2 has broken down. So we're pushing the MR2 onto a plinth so all can see it. And now we have a S2000 with white arches, yellow headlights and a matte or satin purple. Oh, it's the also Zam. There you go. A bit of K car rarity there, the AZ1. Oh, look at the green details on the Civic. Got green behind the grill, the green wheels, which are very brave. And apparently big wheel horsepower on that car, according to his number plates. Oh, and chaser number 16 is another JZX90. <laughs> Seven understands how late he is. We've got quite a few K cars coming now. We've got the Alto and there is a convoy of S660s. You've got the Liberty Walk one at the front in blue, and then you've got yellow and a few white ones behind. I've never seen so many. Look at that. Wide arch on the S660. Import only those. Pink Subaru as well. Revolutions from the Corolla. They know the lingo. Yellow RX8. Another RX8. Revs from the RX8s. Through the art of revolutions. Oh, Evo! Oh, oh, it's all happening now. Well, the Evo's revving too. Like, ah, oh, the Micra! His bump has fallen off. It's unfortunate. Check out the stance of the Ford R34 rolling in and the S15 next door. Also, the saw is looking pretty gnarly. Here comes the pink R33 GTST. Got the Subaru behind in the same color as the R33 was. Got the cherry red on the 350. Spoilerless. Need to get that next to the R33 ahead. Oh, perfect turbo MX5. Oh, bit of rarity now. I've got the Subaru SVX. Oh, look at the bonnet on the micro. It's all rusty and on purpose. And the stickers on the rear too. And a little, little unicorn. I think it's a unicorn or a donkey. Oh, MX5. Yeah. Oh, he's starting. The Aristo follows. Just appear out of nowhere and start revving. Whenever I see a golden car that's Japanese specifically, I always think of the top secret. They were singing. I always think of the uh, top secret cars, of which there have been a few. Check out the color on this MX5. I know I'm talking about color a lot, but there's a lot of them. You've got green and a bit of bronze as a color flip effect on the wide body Mark 1. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is that? Oh, hey! He just bump started it. <laughs> and as the Evo 8 rolls in, we now have a new member. Maybe he's going to tow the MR2 in. Naturally aspirated Super Revolutions. And now another showpiece of the day the Zenki S14 in turquoise. Though yellow is the best color. Favorite color. There's a there's a difference in those definitions. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is this number 17? I think this is the 17th chaser. Oh, that sound. That's why people love. Well, everyone loves the white chaser. It's true. Chloe's toy has escaped the top drawer. Chloe also looks like a bloke. And take a look at this next arrival. JZX 100 Toyota Mark II, two tone, black at the bottom and pistachio at the top. That's clean. Evo Estate. That's not a skyline. Oh, Turbo MX-5 Mark 1. Uh, yeah, I reckon 50% of the MX-5s in this show are boosted, whether it be Mark 1s or Mark 2s. Mark 3 and 4s aren't quite as commonly turboed. That's been turboed as well, the EP3. Oh, it's not even an EP3, it's a Civic Sport. And could we be nearing the end of the arrivals? Because it's cleared out considerably. Well, they're still flowing. Got the MX-5 with the roof box. You've got the purple S15 as well. Letting the focus go like a good seed. Well done. Look, his steering wheel matches the exterior colour of his S15. Next round, an S14 with the door slightly ajar. There you go, he's sorted that out. Hello, sir. Scooby-Doo is in the back. Revolutions are happening at the back as well. Oh, look, he's got a plushy cushion of the car. Very good. Nardo Grey MX-5 does not have a plushy cushion, but look, twin pipes in the centre. There's a bit of a combo coming on. The PS13 and the S14 in a yellow. Also, once again, that was a PS13 front end on the S13 hatchback. There's another S13 hatch. There's another S13 hatch. But some good news, it seems like some friends or maybe even family have come to rescue the Mr. 2 who's broken down. And we still have more arrivals going on. The M2 something I going into the public parking. GTR, you're not going to find the engine under there, sir. Check out the cherry red Mark 2 MX-5. But good news, Mr. 2 has said Mr. 2's 
two, three. It works. He can enter the show. The super has returned. Or oh, he's going home already. I don't know. I've oh, got the crown and the crown. And behind that, a crown. That took the crown. But next up, we have the crown and a crown. And behind that, a crown. It's like the royal family. Fortunately, though, the Supra has returned. Maybe he missed his entrance into the show. And next up, we've got the crown with the crown and a crown behind with another crown behind the crown. Someone was shouting my name from not a crown and not a crown, but that's a crown. Oh, proper sirens what now. He's trying to get through the track. I think real crime is happening just down there. They're shooting off. Oh, look at the vent on the bonnet of the Corsa. It's there for functional purposes. Oh, another supporter of Bran Flakes. Oh, it's the tractor. Oh, is, that, is that a bird? Is that a plane? It's a car. Everyone loves a green tractor. Here's an R32 GTR. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, I've got the vibrant. Oh, he's not going after the M2. No, no, he's. Oh, there's more crime over there. Go get the crims. The bike is that. It's not a police bike, is it? But he's catching up. But here's something you wouldn't expect to see at a Japanese show. Obviously, it's going to the public car park, but it's like an angry or popular hot rod. It's got the Evo behind it that looks glorious in like Nardo grey. There's an S13 as well. I'd say they're probably the widest, well, amongst the widest tyres of the day. But it sounds like the drifting has just begun inside the show. I'm going to have to join the traffic because I'm parked up here. Normally, I'd be parked inside the show, but not doing well so make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe to be notified for the next video from this remarkable show tickets and links to adam seafester down in the video description as well but i hope you enjoyed the arrivals at this incredible japanese show but for now thanks for watching